ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is, again, as I mentioned, go over these problems for you so you guys have an idea of what exactly the right answers are. Again, if you did not take this quiz, my recommendation would be to write down these answers so therefore you can guys see what exactly to do so you can get the correct answer. Now, first of all, um, here I have x squared minus 2x minus 24, all right? So when doing a problem, when doing a problem that's like this, um, basically, I, we always look to factor out the GCF, but there, you can see there's no common terms that I can factor out. So the next thing we look into is using the diamond method. And the diamond method we like, it was always a times c over b. And we want to see what two numbers multiply to give us a times c, but add to give us b. But what's nice about this one is a is equal to 1, right? So we don't really need to multiply 1 times c. We just need to really figure out what c is. So we take the value of c, which is negative 24. And then we take the value of b, which is negative 2. And now we need to identify what two numbers multiply to give you negative 24, but then add to give me negative 2. Now, when doing that, until you get really good at this, you're going to want to be able to figure out these solutions in your head. But until we get used to that, you can list them all all out if you need to. All right. Until you guys get a little practice. Twelve and six, six and four. Oh, twelve and two. It's supposed to be. Nine and ten. <clears throat> you should be writing this down. Oh. Um, now the main important thing is when we have multiplying these, ladies and gentlemen, we're multiplying to get a product. Correct? Yeah. We're multiplying to get a product. And but what you guys notice in this one is that. Um, Colin, why don't you sit back over there, please? So when we're multiplying these, what you guys notice is one of these has to be negative. But the sum of them also has to equal, hello. I have his stuff. I'm going to take him to the. Who? Emilio's stuff. Oh, OK. I'm going to take him to the office and. Um, I don't know where his stuff is. You might have to have him ask where his stuff is Emilio, if you brought in. Is it, yeah. Isn't this his stuff right here? I don't know. That's the. Let's go and make sure that's us. So, thank you. So when we're adding them in, um, so we're adding these two, we know we have to add them to give us negative two. Well, if we're adding two factors, that means the larger of the two factors has to be a negative number, right? So we look at these factors and say, what are the only two that add up to give me negative two? Because they all multiply to give me negative 24. Six and four. Negative six and positive four, right? So ladies and gentlemen, what's nice about when a equals one is those are going to be a part of our factors. So I write x minus 6 times x plus 4 equals 0. The product of those two factors gives us our original trinomial. Yes? Does it matter which one is negative 4? Yes. It does? <laughs> negative 6 plus 4 gives you negative 2. If you did 6 plus <coughs> negative 4, that would give you positive 2. Okay. All right? All right. Now we apply the zero product property. And this is why we've been working on factoring. Because factoring allows us to create a product when it's set equal to zero. Now we set both of them equal to zero. And now you solve. And there you go. Done. Two answers. M. Right? Thank you. Thanks.